So I was able to watch uh, an early screening, the fan screening of Dune Part 2 last night. And I will just say, if you haven't bought your tickets, now's the time you should buy tickets. So this is going to be a non-spoiler review. It's not like uh, we're going to go into all that. Do a spoiler review sometime next weekend, maybe on Monday. I don't know. Just we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. But yeah, you don't have to worry about me spoiling anything. All I'm going to try to do here is try to explain to you the experience of seeing this movie because it really was. It, it was an experience. Dune Part 2 is, is just a continuation of the last movie. I mean, where the last movie left off, this one just starts right up and we're, we're into the story. And right away, I'm just, I'm, I'm just amazed. I'm amazed at the, the way that things are shot, the way that things look, the acting, everything's great. So let's just go through some of those things. As far as the acting goes, I don't want to go into uh, too many of the surprises because there are a couple of surprise people that show up, some casting that I was like, oh, I didn't know that person was in this. Interesting. But yeah, this movie, ba you know, like when it really comes down to it, it's Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya. It's, it's, it's Paul and Chani. They're awesome. They're, they're, they're really great. Timothy Chalamet does things that really, like, I wouldn't say that I didn't think he was capable of them, but he really stretches in this movie because it's, it's really kind of his kind of coming to terms as being part of the Fremen. And then as his responsibilities grow, he, he shows, he shows some different sides and it's awesome. It's really, really great. And Zendaya as Chani, she really surprises here. I mean, I've always liked Zendaya, but I've always been like, yeah, Zendaya is pre pretty cool. No, she's, she's good. She's really good in this movie. And I mean, a lot of the, I would say a lot of the emotion, the weight of some of the things that go down you get to experience them through her eyes and it's, it's just, it's just great stuff. It's so, so, so good. Javier Bardem is back and he really, uh, he surprised me because I didn't think that this movie was going to be as, uh, as funny as it was. I think he brought a lot of levity to the story because I think the first one is, it's very serious and, and almost dry, you know, in it's, in it's almost emotionless, I guess you could say. The first movie, this one, he brings a lot of that and, uh, he's, he's really fun to watch in this one. And probably the biggest addition to the cast was probably Austin Butler as Fade Rotha, who is Baron Harkonnen's, uh, nephew. Wow. This dude is sadistic and, and, and good. Like he's really a well acted. I, I really enjoyed his performance. It was, it was really cool. And one of the things that I said outside of the theater was that it was almost like he was doing a, a Stellan Skarsgård impression, and uh, and my wife said, "No, he's that's kind of uh, like his voice. That's that's kind of the way he sounds. He's kind of got a roughness to his voice." But then I thought it was kind of funny because before I started uh, filming the the review, I saw Jeremy John's review, and he said the same thing. He said it, it was like he was doing an impersonation of Stellan Skarsgård, and I was like, "Ah, that's kind of funny. It's kind of I thought the same thing. Interesting." I don't know. And look, all of the other actors, I mean, you've got Rebecca Ferguson and Josh Brolin and of course, Stellan Skarsgård. And uh, I mean, Florence Pugh is in it. Christopher Walken's in it. But it's it's really, like I said, it's mostly it's mostly Paul and Chani's story. So Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, it's, it's awesome stuff. And really, Denis Villeneuve, I mean, he's just, has done an amazing job here. I mean, he's probably made what? the three best sci-fi movies of the last 10, 15, 20 years, maybe. I don't know, but wow. I mean, this, the directing is on par. Some of the shots that they, that he and Greg Frazier come up with, um, just absolutely insanely beautiful. Greg Frazier, of course, uh, he shot the creator. He shot Rogue One. He shot, of course, the original Dune. The two of them together, uh, just do an amazing job here. And I, it's just a pleasure to look at some of these just images. There's one scene in particular. I'm t I mean I'm telling you. I was just sitting there shaking my head going, "Wow, this is so beautiful." The sound design. Holy crap, the sound design. I mean, the first the the first movie, the sound design is no slouch. Trust me. You know, I mean, trust me. But wow, it 
it goes to another level here. And I was really, I was really enjoying the sound mix in, in this movie. I mean, I just, it was great. And then of course the music by Hans Zimmer, it, it, again, almost like the story, it picks up from, from where the first movie left off. And, and I, I think it's fantastic, fantastic work. And then all across the board from the rest of it. I mean, you've got the art design, the, the art direction, the set direction, the costume design, the, the makeup department. Everybody is doing their best work. And it's, it's like I said, it, it, this is an achievement. Like on uh, across the board, it is just, it's jaw-dropping cinema in an IMAX screen. I mean, come on. It's, it's amazing stuff. Even story-wise, I, I think it's actually paced better than the first movie. I mean, I, I like the first movie quite a bit, but this one moves at a pace, even though it's roughly the same length, I think that this moves better. Now, for those of you who, like my wife, thought that the first movie was slow, she enjoyed this movie a lot more than the first one. Uh, she gave the first movie three out of four stars. Not bad. I mean, from my, I mean, from my perspective, that's a recommended, that's, that's pretty good. But she gave this one three and a half out of four stars, which I think is quite an improvement. And uh, she said, yeah, I'll, I'll watch this movie again. I'm going to be watching it again in the theater pretty much as soon as I can. So yeah, Dune part two, I'm, I'm in love with this movie. I think this is, this is as close to perfect as you can get. And my recommendation to you is not only to go see it, but to go see it in the, on the biggest screen you can. Uh, if you can get to an IMAX screen, do that, um, see it, just see it and take this movie in. It is, it's, 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 it's rare for me to be this excited about a movie. And so like immediately, like I got to watch that again, but please leave your comments in the, in the comment section below about what you think about Dune part two. Uh, of course, if you haven't seen it, maybe steer clear for a bit, I don't know, you know, until you've, after you've seen it, but I, I especially would love to hear from people who have read the book or books and let me know your thoughts on, on what they've done. You know, some of the changes they may or may not have made. Um, to be honest, I read the book and I don't really remember. I, I, I wasn't that ingrained. Dune isn't ingrained in my, in my soul, like it is with some people. So I would love to hear, uh, your thoughts in the comment section below. So anyway, Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.